pretty tough to do videos about Colombia, about places to go and places to go and things to see when here locked up for six months. But there's hope. So I want to talk to you today about things that I want to do in video when they let me out of prison. Okay, places I want to go, things I want to put on video when I'm released from pr the prison hell that I'm in. First of all, I want to go to the national parks and take visits. Now, with as many as there are and as huge as they are, and as remote as many of them are, it would take a lifetime, I think, to go and do all of these parks justice. It's pretty amazing. And I don't want to take canned videos off the internet and just talk about something. I've only been to three or four, and I can talk about those. I want to go and do video to show you what it is to talk about and get my reaction while I do it. So I'm looking forward to do that. I mean, there's so many of these huge protected areas in Colombia. I want to showcase some, starting, of course, in the coffee region. Uh, we've got some amazing parks. Something else. I want to take you to Termales. It's near Pereira. And I want to show you this amazing place that's very near my personal paradise right here in Armenia. It's very close to it. You can get there in an hour or so. And it's stunning. It's beautiful. I'm not going to get in the thermal pools. You know, us fat guys, you know, we kind of avoid. Um, offending nature and everybody around you by you know pulling off our shirts but I'm gonna take you anyway maybe I'll take somebody along so you can see them splendid. I'll take a pretty girl in a bikini and throw her in the water and let you you know maybe she can splash the camera or something but I want to do that it's it's quite the amazing place and then I want to travel to Bukaramanga I've never been there and it holds a lot of interest for me. There's so much about the place that's historical, that's unique, and I'm just dying to go there. It's the number one place in Colombia that I personally want to go. I've been to so much of Colombia. I've been out on the coast. I've been to the Caribbean islands, San Andreas. You know, I've been everywhere south of um, Armenia. I've been to Bogota and Manizal. I've just been all over the place, managing but that's a place I haven't been to, dying to go, dying to take you along with me. And what else? Here's kind of a dream of mine. And I can't do what I wish I could do, but I would love to travel the path of Simon Bolivar when he freed Colombia, a.k.a. Uh, New Granada, uh, from Spanish rule. So much of it's really impossible to travel, which is really a testament to the superhuman feats that they achieved. I would at least like to go to the various towns and villages and then end up in Boyoca. Now that certainly wasn't the end of the story, but that was the point at which Spanish left New Granada, and so it can become the Republic of Colombia. So I'm really looking forward to that. And when I go to these places, I can tell the little stories that occurred in these places because you could sit and watch a movie that went on for 12 hours and not cover the magnitude of the impact he had on South America. Okay, what else? I really want to return to Medellin. I want to revisit some past impressions I have because it's been quite some time. Now, I've got friends that are, I've got a couple people that I know are living there. I, I've known a number of people that have been in and out of there. Pretty familiar with it. I get it. But 
it's been a while. Plus, I want to do a video in a way that's a bit different from the usual travel videos that you see. And they're almost predictable. You know, when they go to Medellin, you know what you're going to see. And some are better than others, but they're all kind of the same. So I want to I want to do a, something a little bit different. And I, I want to present a realistic view of a world-class amazing city. But for me, it's not very livable. But then again, I never cared for L.A. or New York City to, to live in either. I'm just not a city guy. But uh, so many of you are interested in Medellin, and I want to give you kind of a real picture of it. What else? I want to revisit Pareda. Now, I did a little, a short series, three, four videos, three videos, I think, of Pareda just before this lockdown. And a lot of people appreciated it. And there's a lot more. I mean, I really only covered one or two neighborhoods, um, one and a half. And, um, and there's, there's more to see. And I don't want to shortchange it just because it's not a place I don't want to live. I don't like the climate there, but it, it has its merits. And so I want to go back and I want to show some more neighborhoods. And then I also want to revisit Manizales. Because mostly, I just I just love being there. It's the kind of thing that uh, if things were normal, I'd probably want to go to Manizales every couple months for at least a long weekend. I don't want to live there. I mean, I made my choice, but I love the place. It's a cool place. It's a, it's like close enough that I can go visit it and absorb the things that I like, and then come back to a place that feels like home. And that's, you know, I want to do that. And so when I go and I have little adventures there, I want to show you. I lost all my clips of the restaurant zone. And they've got amazing restaurants there. And I want to go back and at least get you that information on video. These are some of the things that have been on my list for a long time. And a big part of the reason I decided to buy a car. I'll probably ask for sponsors for each trip as they can become a bit expensive for me. And I'm going to need a helper, and that's going to incur extra costs. But, you know, I'll give you a heads up. If you don't, I'm still going to try to get there. Um, it'll just probably speed up the process. Now, I've been preparing for these trips during the lockdown. I've been doing what I said I would never do. I would never take my personal money ever again and, and, and put it into the channel. Uh, but I have, and um, I haven't been spending as much money, obviously, you know, during the lockdown. And so everything that I had extra that I wasn't spending, I either put it to the side or I got some things that I really needed to kind of upgrade. I'll show you one right here. Hold on here. Okay. I ordered this. Yes, it's just a box. But, um, let's, hold on. I got something in the way here. What's in this box is what's important. That's what's in the box. Now, what is that? When you're out walking around, it's hard to get good sound. And... Uh, it's okay from time to time, but there's issues. A lot of it you don't know because you're not on the editing side of things. There's clips where the sound becomes unusable, or I have to put a lot of time using software to get it up to a quality to it's listenable. It takes a lot of time. It's frustrating, and sometimes I just can't use it, and therefore can't do much with, with a clip. Um, that's why you hear me do a lot of voiceovers. So what is this? This is actually a sound recording device. It's very small, as you can see. It's very lightweight. It's aluminum. It was very inexpensive. These things can cost $150, $200. This was $30. You can throw it in your pocket. You won't accidentally push buttons. It's got a feature about that. Now you can use this microphone here to 
talk or do an interview or something. But you also have earphones and external microphone. So you can plug in a lapel mic, put it up under your shirt, put the little thing there, throw this in your pocket, and you can get really good sound. The sound through this is excellent. It's better than anything I have that I can take outside. So, you know, that's a uh, plus for the home team, right? And there's been some things like that. L little things that probably don't mean much to you, little connectors and um, just little upgrades that technically they're, they're helpful to me. And so I've been preparing. And I really look forward to covering the nature and history of Columbia in a way that maybe hasn't been done before. I also want to reward or give back to those that have stuck with me through, not only through this uh, pandemic, epidemic, flu season, depending on what you want to call it and what your opinion is, but for some of you have supported this channel three, four, we're going on five years, some of you. Um, as a matter of fact, when I just did the the group live call of the members, I got to see a couple that I'd never seen before that have been contributing for. It, there was one couple in there that I think they've been contributing almost five years. And, and so I want to do some special things for them. And so with all this time to sit around and think about it, these are the things I've been thinking about. And I'm excited to get out and do it. It's, it's been a long dry spell because there's only so much you can do in video um, sitting here in the apartment. So I hope you're excited about it. I hope you're looking forward to it also. And um, we'll see you soon, Sunday. Don't forget, coffee time on Sunday.